This one is hard. And good evening and welcome to the Walking Dead support group. Mid-season finale tonight. A uh, little zoom out there from Daryl. Uh, no crying, Daryl, here on the Walking Dead support group, as we just saw on the show. Uh, my name is Keith O'Brien. I'm filling in for Alex. We're not sure where Alex is. Um, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, he, he had a little incident, um, but he's doing okay. And we'll, we'll check in later with Alex. Um, I, you know, where's <laughs> Daryl when you need him? There he is. <laughs> This is Alex. Hey. Alex has been infected. It's just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. He's fine. It's just a flesh wound. He'll be fine. Sparing no expense. So anyways, I'm Keith O'Brien filling in for Alex, uh, usual host. Uh, Jason uh, McCarthy to my left. And filling in for uh, Alex in my seat is uh, Sherry Sharkey, um, a fellow Walking Dead support group member. Um, somebody we met at the Boston Walking Dead Stocking Con. She was in the next booth, and she helped us get our table. So, again, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And welcome here to the Walking Dead Support Group. Thanks what, for coming down tonight. From all the way from... All the way from Salem, New Hampshire, yeah, she came down nice. tonight. So, very far. Um, she had nothing to do with Alex's infection. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, as always, <laughs> we'll go to the kill count, so we'll stay right with me. Um, I had 13, including uh, the shh kill by Morgan there at the end. If yeah. everybody, Hopefully everybody stuck around for that. Baker's Dozen. Baker's Dozen tonight. Um, so let's get right at it. Um, we'll discuss topics. We're going to go right for, uh, I think we should just, uh, one of the things we started off with is uh, um, who died. Uh, we're going to go with who died. And obviously the big death is uh, Beth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it to Sherry because she's here from us guests. So Sherry, what, is, what are your thoughts about Beth's death? I think it was awesome. It was, I was surprised that it, uh, that it happened so quick the way it did. I didn't. I didn't expect her to get it then. Mm -hmm. I thought there was going to be a big shootout on the way out. Yeah. But um, it, if somebody had to go, it had to be Beth. It had to be Beth. It had uh, to. Yeah, Beth was the big. Uh, I think Beth was the big vote winner tonight on the uh, thread on who's going to die or everybody's uh, hit list was Beth. Um, I too thought it was going to be like a like a shootout scene, kind of like a Reservoir Dogs kind of scene, mm -hmm. or maybe uh, in Inglorious Bastards. Not to um, bring up some movies, but. The um, I don't think I would have had the um, the prisoner exchange there in the hallway. Jason, what are your thoughts on Beth's death? I honestly thought it was going to be something that was an accident. You know, I, they said Daryl was real broken up about how the last scene ended, the, mm -hmm. the last uh, taping ended, and I really thought that maybe he had something to do with it, like he accidentally killed her. But uh, I I liked the way it went down. I thought it was yeah. nice the way it went down. It, it was much better than a shootout in the hallway, which would have ended with everybody dead. Yeah. So it, it see, he did seem broken up about it. I mean, he quickly reacted, grabbed the other pistol from uh, from yeah. Rick or in his belt, and put a put a shot put Dawn down. You yeah. know. I mean, I, it definitely shocked me. I agree with both of you because we knew she had the 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 scissors in her cast. I don't yeah. know what she was thinking by stabbing, but I don't get what she meant by "I get it now" because she said Beth says to Dawn, "I get it now." Stabs her in the in the uh, in the shoulder with the with the scissors, and Dawn must have already had her pistol out, or she drew that fast and put a round right through Beth, and I was shocked. I said, I, I didn't expect her to die like that. I did yeah. like it. But I don't know what she meant by that, and you know, what do you think of that? Uh, well, she had she says, said, I get it now. I, well, before that, though, she told the other kid, she told him, I, I knew you'd be back. Mm -hmm. To Noah. Like, yeah. you know, to prove to him, I'm going to, I'm in charge, I'm going to get my way, this mm -hmm. is the way it's going to be, whether you like it or not. True. And I think that that was what pushed Beth over the edge. Pushed she was just like, yeah. no, you're not going to be in charge. No. It's all you. You're the one that's causing this weird, creepy mm -hmm. dynamic in the first place. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then they all drew down, much like, you know, the, like a Mexican standoff. Yeah. And they're all, you know, and then the other woman there in the, in the hallway says, hold this ceasefire, because they obviously wanted Dawn gone. And they got what they want. And, and well, unfortunately, Rick didn't get what he wanted, because they wanted Beth. Well, they got Carol. But they didn't want Beth. And then we see him asking, if anybody wants to come with us, come with us. Now, when we saw them exiting the hospital, we just saw our group of adventurers. We didn't see if they graduated. So it'll be interesting to see if anybody comes with them. So, uh, well, jo um, what's his name? Who? Jonah. Yeah, Jonah. Noah. 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 kept doing that. Well, Noah's definitely going to go with him. Well, Noah, yeah, Noah came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so he's with him. He's definitely yeah. was recruited. So. Yep. And in typical Daryl fashion, uh, we would not that we we didn't expect anything less from him. He took Beth Beth's body. Yeah. They're taking Beth's body with him. With, yeah, I'm pulling. No, I'm no taking with him. They were leaving it there. No, they weren't. No. They weren't leaving it there. That was just yeah. a shocking moment. One round was shot in that hallway, 
at, during that Mexican standoff, and we don't have a show anymore. Yeah, that's true. That was. Oh yeah. yeah. That was yeah. How everybody it was. Did. It was gonna. It, you know, it was. You didn't know what was gonna happen there if, if right. there was gonna be a massive shootout. I was praying for the massive shootout, but you know, I mean, then you, like you said, we wouldn't have a show anymore. We'd have yeah. to have like a, a new bench of uh, a new. Um, Band of adventures, so mm -hmm. to speak. So, um, favorite moment, um, Jason. What do you have for a favorite moment? Uh, definitely the wrath of Daryl. I thought that was the wrath of Daryl. His face. Oh, the sh when, oh. when when Beth got shot. That was to me. That was everything that I was hoping it was going to be from from what I had um, what I had gathered from the interviews of mm -hmm. how he was reacting after the show and everything else. So, but it was you know. It was it was really well done. Uh, you could de definitely tell he was really into the scene. So, oh man, oh man, I tell you, gonna need to put a little something on that. <laughs> it's not looking good. Alex, Alex, is just he's got a, he's got a flesh wound. <laughs> just a scratch. Just a scratch. It's just a scratch. He got a scratch. He had the fever. Um, it wasn't our idea to let him go to that convention. No, well, I mean, yeah. it's taken a while though. Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> we really we need some very good production assistance. Alex is the king of too soon. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's too soon. Too soon. <laughs> um, Sherry, what a favorite moment for you? My favorite was when Sasha took out the walker when Rick was standing outside mm -hmm. talking to oh, the two cops. Death, yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, it was just was out great. of nowhere. I, I did like that too. That was probably one of my better moments because mm -hmm. um, I liked it because the cop was like, um, he was saying, he said, well, where are your people? And, and then... Boom, you know, the, the one shot, silent shot, the, kid, the walker goes down, and he goes, they're close. <laughs> you know, they're close. <laughs> you know, cause it's like, um, my favorite moment was, uh, uh, I, uh, I said it in the other room, I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, good, please do. <laughs> I'll get fired from my volunteer gig here at H Camp, mm -hmm. so we're going to leave it alone. But let's just say, I love the opening scene. I love the cop running. I love Rick, he gets in the car, he's on the radio, stop. Stop! Boom! Hits him with the car, runs him down, and um, what's up with that? Good job, BJ. Put an end to that. Anyways, so I like that because we had another uh, we had another two two word sentence from Rick. You know, we hit him with the car. I think you broke my back, man. Mm -hmm. And he just puts him. To, he shoots him and says, "Shut up!" <laughs> <laughs> you know. So we got we got some classic. Um, we, that leads us. You know, our favorite moments probably ate up our line of the nights too. Unless somebody's uh, yeah. got another one. Do you have another one? I'm happy. I'm well, happy to see Rick my, back. Rick yeah. is like Rick is in rare form now. Well, I, I like it. You know, is um, there was a good. There's you know, as, as Sherry's here is like we talked about it the other day. We were gonna have like a uh, off season contest of your favorite meme, yeah. and Sherry does them all. Um, Sherry gives us all our good memes. Um, you've seen him here on the show. Uh, we, we have them. Uh, I don't know. Do we have them queued up, BJ, or no? No, I don't. No, think I don't think we, we do. A little but too anyways, much spare time. Too much spare time. <laughs> we have we have way too much spare time here at the Market Sport Group. But um, Sherry, over the seasons, has pr provided us with some great memes and some great photoshops mm -hmm. of our buddy here, mm -hmm. Jason. Um, do we have that one? We, we actually have a new meme that's going to Cue around. that up and then let me know when it's out ready, if you can. Um, but one of the memes uh, that was out this week shows like Rick season one and then season two, you know, and it, it used the dirty words. We won't use it here mm -hmm. at HQ. You know, I won't use it, Zach. But it shows like the progression of Rick, how he doesn't shoot anybody, shoots walkers, and then boom, boom, boom. Now he just doesn't care. He doesn't even mm -hmm. talk to people. He just shoots you. You know, first he hits you with the car. You know? What gets me is that every, every time he goes to shoot somebody and somebody stops him, like last week, Daryl right. stopped him from doing it. It, it. Then something bad happens. It's like if you would just let him go ahead and shoot the guy, you wouldn't have any of these problems. Right, but Daryl wasn't there. It was just him. True. You know, yeah. me. I thought I was like great. You know, he didn't. You know, he didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't waste any ammo. Yeah. But then he did. He shot him once. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But so. you can go back in there and get that bullet out. Yeah, but I thought maybe he was gonna. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't. It's not like a crossbow. <laughs> he got him down. Oh, what else? I don't know. What else you got? I had a little line what of What else you got? You? you got a little line yeah. of life? What do yeah. you got? I, I don't, again, I don't know if this is one of those ones that we can say on the air. Yeah, but sure. Uh, if I can't use mine, you can use yours. Stay in your lane, woman. That was good. That was awesome. That was I, good. I say that every day. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> definitely the line of life. Oh, 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 oh. oh. When oh. I'm on the road, let me say that. Send your hate mail to <laughs> Jason McCarthy, <laughs> care of HCAM. You don't need to send hate mail because you saw what happened to that guy. Yeah, that guy. That yeah. said yeah. that line. Yeah, that's true. He, he got ended shafted. up down in shaft. Yeah. 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 I only say it in the quiet up his car. <laughs> 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 no one yeah. can throw me down an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did like that because um, Beth showed a little um, out of character. 
you know, the, the stronger yeah. character, but it didn't last long. Um, it, you know, it finally came out in this season, you know, as well as this episode that she jumps on the back of the officer and, you know, boom, he knocks her down and says, well, stay in your lane, woman. I did like that. Uh, but I didn't say it was my favorite like <laughs> you, so you're in trouble. Um, one of the other ones I had was um, when uh, Beth, Beth and Dawn were talking. Um, she's, you know, she said something that obviously that Rick has con very good control of. I think when you compare the two groups or like how she's in charge and how Rick's in charge of the dictatorship, she said, I don't need their love, I just need their respect. You know, and obviously she didn't have both as we see at the end because mm. we have our little reservoir dog scene. Like, sorry, we have our little hallway scene where you know the other cop is like, She's fine, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, look, we're all, all square, taken care of. we're all problem, yeah, all problems yeah. taken care of. I don't think the problem's taken care of. I mean, we lost, we came here to get Beth. If you know, speaking for Rick, we came here to get Beth and I lost Beth. You know, you lost the person that you wanted to get rid of. Why didn't you just, if you shot her yesterday, I wouldn't have this problem. Mm. So it really, it didn't solve, it solved the problems of the hallway and everybody gets to go free. Yeah. But it solved the Grady Memorial problem. It didn't solve Rick's problem. You know, he's got to now go back and he's got to deal with, you know, much like, um, much like when, when um, you know, Maggie came out with Judith, you know, in the scene, you know, they're coming out with, they're coming out with Beth. You know, Maggie was all excited to see my sister, right? He hasn't mentioned her in s seven episodes or a season and a half and says, you know, obviously timelines on a season. And uh, she pulls, pulls up and she sees Daryl coming out of battery, so she doesn't get to say hi. You know, it's one of the things I said. I said maybe, I, I voted for Beth's death, but what I wrote was, um, in the thread, was Maggie gets there in time to put her down. Mm. And then somebody, and I, I can't find out who, but we'll find it out, and you're in there, so you get credit for it. Mm -hmm. um, they said, um, Maggie gets there in time for Carol to put Beth down. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, wow, yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Mm -hmm. wasn't you, wasn't? No, like it wasn't it? me, but I saw it. I liked it. Yeah, I did like it. Yeah. I did like it. What do we got? Do we got anything on the threads? Why do I have the only one with the computer today? <laughs> anything good over there? there we got uh, dead Walker Alex? Alex? Dead Alex? <laughs> no? What do you got? <laughs> charades? No, nothing. Oh, we got to play charades. <laughs> <laughs> BJ, spin. Oh, Twitter. 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 I don't have the Twitter. Spin that camera around. I have the Twitter. Here it comes. The Quicker. Twitter. Oh, there he goes. There he is. <laughs> there you go. Everybody likes it. The best gone on Twitter. That's good. <laughs> Light of the night right there. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Very you nice. That? Everybody you, likes that Beth that? is going. Um, so what else? Sherry, so what else? What else? Oh, hashtag stop the music. Hashtag yeah. stop the that music. Was yeah, mm -hmm. that was Very good. Very nice. Um, so Sherry, what else? Um, how was how was your experience at Walker Stock in Boston? And what else do you do? Walker, Walking Dead related. Help us um, out. Well, Walker, Stalker, Con, Boston, we went down and we painted um, mostly kids, but we did some adults too. Um, painted them up, put some prosthetics and stuff on them, like um, um, zombies. We did bites and bruises and stuff like that. My that buddy. was fun. Uh, we had a great time. Um, we get to meet tons and tons of people. Are you responsible? You should know better. And it was lots of fun. You should know better. Don't make me. Yeah, all the little ones. We get to meet all the little girls. We yeah. got, we met. Um, this is is this your talent right here? This is where, yeah. yeah. This is my this quickie. Did this in under twenty minutes. Under yeah, 20 minutes. right before the show. <laughs> right before the show. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of time. We didn't have a lot of time. Um, but he looks better. He looks he looks good. I, I had a lot of sleep before this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I thought I was looking good. Now you're all so baggy. so. You look tasty. You should go to work. <laughs> Can you go to work like that? Get somebody in trouble. I actually went through the pole booth awesome. the one time. <laughs> the really? pole zombie. It was really fun. <laughs> All right, um, Alex. Alex is off to the infirmary. Yeah, and um, I worked up at um, Canopy Lake up at Scream Fest. Okay. During the um, during Halloween. Halloween season, mm -hmm. and we painted clowns and cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Clowns it was ugly. Off? Okay. It was nope. ugly. <laughs> Clowns are off. Clowns I don't really like limits. clowns either, mm -hmm. but I love them. Okay, mm -hmm. they're creepy. <laughs> <laughs> they're clowns creepy. are creepy. <laughs> we'll do you as a clown next time. <laughs> there you go. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. We're done. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> There's a line of the night right there. Um, all right. What else do we have from tonight? What else you got for notes from tonight? What else you got from notes? Um, what else you got? One of the things that I um, was thinking was you probably shouldn't tell people that you saw somebody and that they're alive still until they're actually like in the room with you because that was what kicked me off as soon as they told Maggie mm -hmm. that Beth was alive and that they knew where she was I knew she wasn't gonna make it uh-huh Okay, I know you know here, but that goes under what did I learn tonight? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from New Hampshire, you know <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. 
Anything right. else? What do you got there, Jason Boy? I was looking at. I was thinking about predictions. Uh, predictions? Okay. We can we can do that. We can move back. to predictions. Uh, I don't know for sure if they're gonna follow along with the comics or anything, uh, which again I haven't read. But you know, I know that they, they attempt to adventure to DC, and I, I think the uh, beginning of that journey might start. It may not get there for a while, but I think it might actually start when we come back. But I think that's a dead issue now because when they pulled back, when uh, Abraham crashed the steps. And uh, we didn't have an Abraham line. That's a bummer. Um, but he crashed the steps, and they came out, and they said Eugene was lying. Right, but I still think that they should try to go. You think they still try to go? Yeah. Okay. What was that note that Morgan read at the end? He wrote that. He read, Morgan at the end read the note that Abraham had given Rick when they left originally. After they and had their little after battle. After they had their little... They said it's 100 miles away. Yeah. So they could be going to D.C. They could be going to D.C., but it said, like, um, you know, um, I'm sorry, sorry, I, whatever, got in the fight, and, you know, the, the, new, the new world could use a Rick Grimes, and now Morgan saw it, and, and hopefully there it goes. Um, I don't know, what, what do you, how do you feel that Morgan, seeing Morgan at the last two minutes, because it's kind of like in the first episode of the season, we saw, our, we, we c- clipped away from a preview, and we, you know, even here is, is, you know, this works. We we watch the show, come in here and do the panel. We often just run right in here as soon as the show's over. And they did a clip away and came back. And Morgan was walking on the tracks and everybody was like, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait don't go anywhere. <laughs> and we didn't see much of Morgan again until just now. He's, you know, and again, this could come to a timeline thing, as I said. We don't know where he is in their timeline. Is he following behind them a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a month? But we, how do you feel Morgan comes into, when does Morgan come into play quickly, fast? Or is he, when does he come into play moving they'll, forward? They'll probably milk it for a while. But what my thing is, is what difference does it make if Morgan catches up with them or not? It's mm-hmm. not like he has any huge skills, and he's a little bit off as it is. Oh, yeah, he's definitely off. So Clear. Clear. I don't know if he's even <laughs> worth having. <laughs> he's worth having. Wow. I, I think I that know. they're gonna they're gonna postpone his emergence with the group until they need him the most. Mm. But yeah. does he have some kind of secret that pay, that's pivotal to the group, or is he just a character that we love following the group? No, I think he's gonna jump in and pull yeah, a carol where he rescues everybody or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're, they're gonna once they're in dire straits, he's gonna help them out. Okay. How about um, how about Tyrese confessing yet again, confessing to a non-kill? Um, I think this has happened before, um, and I'm not sure. But we have Tyrese on the hill, um, uh, on the parking garage. Sorry, on the hill, and he confesses. He goes, "Hey, you know that killer, that, that that walker that you took out of the church? Yeah." And this is again another, you know, brrr, the whole episode was just stretched out beyond belief. One and of the ones was, that stole your boyfriend. Yeah, stole your boyfriend, <laughs> and <laughs> exactly. Um, but he's like. Is some people have talked online. Is he in a, is he a better babysitter than than a killer? Because he's like, I, I could have killed him and I didn't, but I told everybody I did. But now you killed him. It's it was kind of like he was making a confession to her for whatever reason. But it just drove this. I mean, this episode moved very very slow for the the pivotal mid season finale. I mean, I, I was it was a good episode in far, but it just took forever to get there. And, you know, I think even Alex had written uh, on wine. He said, oh, f- you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes for all hell to break loose. And all we have is, you know, uh, is Beth being killed, which was huge again. Yeah. I think Tyrese, I, though, you know, I think they're playing off the irony of Tyrese with the most physically able killer is the pacifist. The huh? You know what I mean? He's the biggest, like, far probably oh, the yeah, strongest. Oh, yeah, the toughest. And they, they play him as the pacifist. And I, I think that they're just kind of, he's as you said, milking that. Yeah, he's disappointing. So. I'm done with Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> I think he can move along. He's not, not <laughs> helping. Is that on our thread? Yeah. No? Oh, it's just, just up there. So Alex found a line of the night out there on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to give him credit because he, he writes, um, it's outside the group. Ugh, they killed Beth. WTF, uh, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot. I thought it was bad when they killed Kenny. No. <laughs> so that's a pretty good line, you know. They can't bring her back, though. No, they can't bring her back, though. <laughs> no. Well, she'll be a walker. Yeah. Well, no, no, she can't. No, well, they got her right, they got her right, they got her right, yeah. in, the, right in the head. They and don't then, even have to put her And out. then, um, you know, Daryl crying, mm, whimpering. Well, Beth was right about one thing. She doesn't need Daryl anymore. That's true. No, she doesn't need down there. She doesn't need anything anymore. So it'll be interesting, as you say, predictions, like uh, where does the group go? Are they going to try and leave the area? Um, and um, one, of, one of my things is, is, like, how does Morgan play in? But 
They're gonna, are they going to stay in the area? I, I think, personally, they're going to stay in the area. I don't see them moving to D.C., and I'm not a fan of the comic books, so I don't know where the comic books take us. I don't know about the comic books either, but I thought that there was some sort of a, a, like a difference in the show and the comic books where, in the show, they told us right away that everybody turns into a zombie. They had the CDC thing, mm -hmm. whereas in the comic books, they left that for you know further along, yeah. and that was part of the reason that they went to Washington in the first place. So I don't know if it's really... Mm. Worth going to Washington. I mean, what's there that? Well, well, where are they going to go now? I mean, what's what's yeah, left for them to go to around the Atlanta area? Well, they're going to get out of Atlanta. They're going to get out of Atlanta, destroyed. but they keep going back. I mean, they keep yeah. going around. Like like uh, we had talked about last week, they have that somebody had made this that picture map, and they just keep going around and around in the area, yeah. collecting goods, and they don't move too far away. And we know, I mean, is, is the road that is the road that they took. Abraham, Glenn, and all that little group, uh, Gretham, <laughs> um, and they saw that swarm, or yeah, the herd. Is that the only road out? Because it can't be the only, that's not the only road out of Atlanta. Help me out. Yeah. No. Right. No. So we know that's not the only road out. So why do they, do they find another avenue? I, I just don't think, I think the whole episode is, is based there. The whole show is based there. I just don't see them going far. So what do you call it? Um, just real quick um, from a good friend out there. He was on, on the line with us tonight, um, Undead, Undead Randy. <laughs> um, check him out, UndeadRandy.com. You, you know, uh, Sherry's met him. Uh, he wrote... Um, well, thanks. When I got a backup, I got a backup. I had it right here. Uh, again, I disagree with the ending as well. Beth, the character, deserved more, but it was time for her to go. So he wanted more, but he also wanted her gone. So he was another Beth vote to die. Um, so sorry, Beth. Yeah, sorry, Rand. Sorry, I Randy. <laughs> I feel bad for her, but I think it was a rough. Ki I think it was a. It was a hard way to go because maybe she didn't. Um, I, I disagree. I don't think she knew she was going to get. She mm. was going to get killed. No. But was she trying to start something? I mean, she was just going to stab her with the scissors. You know, w was a firefight going to ensue? Um, but I, I don't think Beth knew she was going to get killed. I, I think that was a surprise to her as, as much as it was to us in the other room and all the other Walking Dead fans out there. In that day and age, why would you stab her in the shoulder? I mean, everybody else you stab in the throat. Yeah, why wouldn't you I go for the head? I because she's she not went, an I efficient killer, that's yeah, why. Yeah, she tried to go for her heart, but she didn't make it. No. You're not going to make her with a pair of um, yeah, right. um, suture scissors. <laughs> right. oh. Wow, I got that right, I think. <laughs> Sounded good. Um, works for me. <laughs> it works for me. Um, so real quick, um, I just we want to talk a couple of things just before we wrap up. We'll go over what did I learn tonight. Um, we went with predictions. Uh, we know the show returns February eighth. We don't have any titles. Um, I don't. Um, it's February eighth, so we'll be back here, Walking Dead Support Group. Uh, I want to make sure everybody knows uh, that we're out there on Twitter um, at wdsupportgroup.com and wa and Facebook. Um, Sherry, do you have anything you need to promote? No. Not so much. Not so much. No. If anybody so needs to get zombied, they can. If anybody needs to get zombied, you can find, find Sherry. Um, if anybody's looking for zombie parties, zombie paint parties, and mm -hmm. you're in the, um, I guess this area or mm -hmm. I also a, a do close drive. Kids' birthday parties kids birthday and that parties. kind of stuff. I'm doing um, the Comic Con in Wilmington next weekend. So I'll there you be go. There. Uh, but you can find um, her name's right there on the board. But you can find her through our website, Walking Dead Support Group. Uh, she's a, a member on there, and you can Facebook message her and get mm -hmm. over that way. So, what did I learn tonight? How about Zombie Alex over there on the left? You got anything, buddy? Camera. Oh boy. He'll just he'll just walk over. <laughs> Wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> did you? Oh. Yep. Still wrong one. Still wrong camera. <laughs> well. This is like a oh. really hard There we go. There we go. There we go. I learned that I should have just died. This sucks. <laughs> 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 you can't hear me. I learned I should have died. This sucks. We can hear you. We can hear you. I'm sure they can hear you. <laughs> so that's uh, Zombie Alex tonight. Having mm -hmm. fun. You got blood on my sheet. I got blood yeah. over here. It's gross. <laughs> I'll explain a little executive producer tonight. It's always good to have him. Jason, what do you got for what did I learn tonight? I learned that uh, the, the creators can have a lame duck show and still rock you at the end. Uh, I was not happy with the show as a whole. Um, I like the way it ended, but you know, for the most part, it went really slow for me. But uh, I'm just I'm surprised that it wasn't action packed, but uh, yeah, they they did make it slow and they did rock our world at the end. I, that's pretty much what I learned. Cool, 
Sherry, you got anything for what I learned tonight besides what you already shared earlier? Because um, you went out of order. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Don't don't try to kill people with those little scissors because that's not going to work. It's not going right. to work. I like that. It's not a good idea. You have a headache. You have a headache. <laughs> um, this is what I have for what I learned tonight. What did I learn tonight? Um, I want to just touch on Father Gabriel again because he, es he escaped from the church and was out there alone, and then he comes <sighs> back. You know, so this is what I think I've learned in relation to the zombie apocalypse, Walking Dead. How many times do you get to be saved and then saved again? They should have like a savior card or something like that. I'm done with him too. You, you know, can just you know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> it's like he was on the rock. They he saved him. They let him go. They should have. A lot of people said that. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. I mean, how many times? How many times do you save dumb people in the zombie apocalypse? That's what I want to know. What did I learn tonight? Stop. Stop resaving people. Yeah. I mean, you can save your group when they're being attacked, but when when you're in a melee, that's one thing. When you just go out there on your own because you need to go find something, you know. I mean, he went back to the school. He sees Bob's leg. He sees that Bible again. I mean, you know, how many, what did I learn tonight? How many times do you have to save somebody? Favorite kill. Did we do favorite kill? We can do favorite kill. I like that. What do you got for favorite kill over there, buddy? My favorite kill was way at the beginning when. Uh, well, that's where all the killing was. Uh, yeah, right? Good point. Um, when the, when the Father Gabriel went down that hole mm -hmm. and the zombie fell forward against the machete. Against the machete that was okay. on, buried in the floor. That was pretty good. That was cool. kill. I like that. I like that. Favorite kill? Aside from Beth. I liked, because <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> um, was the, at the very, very beginning when Bob was running and he ran by someone and he just caught the zombie across the middle and oh. his guts just oozed That's out. Right. We all were kind of like, ooh. <laughs> That's not too low. That doesn't count? It does. Sure. It does. We well, I, it does. I'll go with Beth. It's a good scene. No, because Beth was our favorite. Um, <laughs> my favorite kill was um, kind of your, like your favorite moment. I like the zombie coming up the um, the parking deck. You know, the, like the last shopper from Black Black Friday this weekend. Um, so she walks up. She's walking up the ramp to her parking space, and you know, in the, in in. Um, so now I'm doing it. I'm sitting too close to you. I'm losing names. Sasha. Sasha puts a shot right through the head. And yeah. that, that was like, oh, they're close. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, so that was my favorite kill. Um, line of the night, again, was shut up and they're close. I like that. Um, I think, anything else over there, buddy? Favorite kill was when Michonne did the double slice through the head. Double slice oh, through yeah, the that head. Was nice. In case the microphones didn't pick that up. Uh, yeah, zombie like, Alex. Saw brain and then you saw neck. Saw a brain in the neck. It was kind of like a. Coming from a zombie, that's impressive. That was the Ginsu 4000 moment, if I ever thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It slices, it dices. And look what it does to Walker. It even yeah. makes Julian potato. Yeah. Her, <laughs> yeah. Her, oh, you can. You can hear him. Uh, I like that. <laughs> BJ's playing and it sounds like we can hear Alex. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like a, like a slice in the cantaloupe. It was like chuckle, chuckle. You know, it was like a little infomercial. Um, Fruit Ninja. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And now we got Acura commercials. I know. I don't want to get on it. So. Yeah, like it. All right, so <laughs> we got that. So here we are, mid-season finale again. It was slow. Apologize, going a little off off focus tonight. So um, again, check us out on Walking Dead Support Group on Facebook, WD Support Group on Twitter. Um, we should have posts obviously throughout the whole hiatus. Uh, we'll be back on February eighth, Sunday. And again, um, I want to thank Sherry for joining us. Thank, thank you for you. driving down. Do you want you to drive thank safe you. tonight? Um, Jason, as always, thanks for joining us. Good night. Alex over there, executive producer at Walker Alex, Dead BJ on. in the booth. I want to thank everybody in the other room that came up with us tonight. And again, we'll see you in February and have a good night. Stay dead. Mm. Poor dad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>